What's up YouTube, Shamo Aquariums here, bringing you guys another video. And today I'm gonna to talk about a fish I will never buy again, simply because I am tired of wasting my money on them and they are way too finicky in my experience. And that fish is the Serpe Tetra. Now I've heard from many different people, many different sources that these fish are hardy, but in my experience, that has not been the case. <laughs> They always die on me. Every single time I get Serpe Tetras, like no matter how many I get, no matter what the water parameters are, and no matter where I get them from, half of them, at least, always die within the first week. <laughs> now, out of all the ones that died, this deformed one is still alive. Like, come on, why? But... Yeah, I've had the same issue with a few other different types of fish that I'll get into in another video or something, but Serpe Tetras are the worst when it comes to this. I don't know why. I test the water. The water parameters would be fine. No ammonia, no nitrite, 7.0 uh, pH, and very low nitrates. So the fact that these fish always die on me when they're supposed to be hardy, yet the notoriously sensitive Roseline Shark, also known as Denison Barb, always thrives in my tank. It just does not make sense. <laughs> but yeah, I pretty much decided, okay, I am not wasting my money on these fish ever again because I already know, like, if I go out and buy, like, 10, 12 of them, at least five or six of them are going to die within the first week. And the other fish that I've had a similar problem with for a, is the tiger barb. Now, when I go out and buy a group of tiger barbs, they don't all just drop dead within the first week, but over the course of a few months, eventually there's only gonna be one left. Now, with the Serpe Tetras, just like in the past, I expect like a year from now, there's only gonna be one left, and that last remaining one is gonna live on for a few years. I don't know why this happens with these fish, but when it comes to these fish being hardy, I don't believe it. Because there's no re there's no like logical reason why Serpe Tetras always die off on me so fast, yet the super like the Roseline shark, which I've always been told is very sensitive, they just thrive in my tanks. I almost never have problems with these guys. It's confusing. I don't know why that is, but yeah, I pretty much decided I am never wasting my money on Serpe Tetras ever again. I will also never buy Rams ever again because they always die on me too. They don't last long either. Now I gave the angelfish another shot. Now when I tried angelfish, I was buying them when they were only like the size of quarters and they would only last like a month. Now, I tried it again, but this time I got this large angelfish that is almost as big as my hand, and it has been a month and a half, and he is doing very well. Kind of shy, but healthy, eating, and everything. So, plus the other thing is, the, re the six remaining Serpe Tetras I have, they don't even school together, and they are total assholes to each other. So that's pretty much like, they're just in there. Like I don't even pay attention to these fish anymore. Like earlier this year, I started off with 10 of them. Five of them died within a week. Like a month later, I got seven more. Five more of those died within a week. And that's when I decided, okay, that's it. I am never wasting my money on these fish again. Now, I don't have any problems with these guys being fin nippers. They only mess with each other. I have never seen them mess with any of the other fish in the tank. So I don't have any fin nipping problems in here. If anything, that angel fish is the one chasing the Tetras. So they don't mess with the angel. They don't mess with anybody. They only mess with each other. And they're total jerks to each other. It's the same reason why I will never buy tiger barbs again. They 
they are total jerks to each other. And then eventually there's only one left after a short time period. So, plus the fact that these guys are always hiding in the back within the plants and all that. But yeah, that is a fish I will never buy again, the Serpe Tetra. And out of all of the ones that died, this, this one that is deformed survived. But yeah, that's all for today's video. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video after I get some close-up shots of the fish.